on the answer to all your questions. Hello YouTube, I am Nathan Desaw of Anime Secrets. You guys who watch Anime Secrets might recall me, might recall seeing me on several podcasts for Toku Secrets with Rizwan and Anthony. And I am here in Pericon with the highest honor of interviewing Dan, Dan Southworth. The highest he, honor. It is a very high honor. Uh, Dan Southworth has played Eric Myers in Power Rangers Time Force. He was the Quantum Ranger. And he has also done several other... Yes, that is him. Best Sixth Ranger ever, in my opinion. Uh, and he has also... To my knowledge, he has also done voice work on Devil May Cry. He voiced Virgil in Devil May Cry 3. And he Devil also May Cry did 3? And 3, he, 3, 3.5, uh, 4 point or 4 special edition is now out. Good, then Devil May Cry fans, there's some good news for you. That guy, right there. And he has also, I think it was, uh, it, it was definitely a recent YouTube video that I've actually watched in preparation for this interview. Uh, he played Ryu, the character from Street Fighter, uh, in a, I think it was called The Devil Within video. That's correct. Street and, Fighter versus Tekken. And he also, and where he <clears throat> fought, I, I, what was the character's name again? Um, he was played by uh, Ruben Langdon, if I remember. Well, that was Ken. Okay. I apologize for that. Then I didn't fight Ken. Ken saves Ken saves Ryu in the video. But you got to check out the video. It's good. Yes, it is very good. It's a that short is. film, actually, made by a thousand pounds production company. Okay, so I'm just going to start off by thanking you, Dan, for this interview. It is a, you're welcome. As I said, it's a very high honor. Okay. And so before I start, just I'd like to ask, how was Georgia for you? Like, well, I just got here. But I've been to Georgia plenty of times before. I actually filmed Revolution here, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I like it. You know, I like the people. The people are very friendly and nice and sweet. That's good. Like I've, a Georgia peach. I've uh, having been, lived in Georgia for only three years, I can say, but I definitely enjoyed the state myself too. So there you go. So we're both we're both enjoying where we're at right now. Very much. So yes. uh, to start off. Uh, I'm sure you hear about this like from several Power Ranger fans, but your season Power Rangers Time Force is considered the like, best, one of the best. It's actually my favorite season. I've not actually. only heard it, I know it. So, he's saying it's the best. So, what you gonna do about it? So, how check it out on Netflix. You can check it all out, the whole season. Power Rangers Time Force. That's this one right here. So. I, I understand. I saw this in an. Interview. I saw your interview with uh, No Peaks Bandex. Uh, yes. That prior to getting the uh, role of Eric, you auditioned for the roles of uh, the character that was eventually the second Black Ranger in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That was my first Hollywood screen test. Yes. And then you. I think it was my first real Hollywood audition too. That's very nice to know. And so they and screen tested us, and it was down to me and Johnny Bosch. Uh, for the role, and uh, they tested us for about a week, tried us out in all kinds of situations. And what they do there is they also pair all of the potential cast members up with each other to see what the chemistry is like overall and how well they work together. And so at that point, either one of you, any one that's being considered, is a viable Power Ranger. It's just the overall team together, how they want them to look, uh, is taken into consideration. So. Ten years later, I was right for the Quantum Ranger in Time Force. And do you feel satisfied with getting that role? Like considering it was you worth the wait. Roles? It was definitely worth the wait. Right. Uh, it was a great character to play, and it was a Red Ranger. And uh, and I'm very glad that it's become a favorite among the fans. Yes, I have. I actually, uh, the podcast group that I'm actually part of has agreed that you were like the best sixth ranger character. That's ever. pretty cool. That's pretty cool to hear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. So, so what was life like on the uh, on the Power Ranger set? Like, what was your relationship with the uh, cast members? Like, oh, we got along. Very professional cast and crew. We um, we all enjoyed working with one another. 
I had fun whipping them around here and there whenever I, my character showed up on the set. Um, I enjoyed that. They were all a bunch of goody two-shoes, so it was nice to come in there and smack them all around every once in a while. That's good. So, here was one thing that I recalled of. Except for Michael Copan. Yes, Michael Copan. The reason we look this way is because he's sitting right over there. Um, he, yes. uh, he was not quite the, uh, the goody two-shoes, uh, <laughs> cookie-cutter, clean-cut fella that the rest of the actors were on that show. He was a little bit more... Uh, He's a little bit more mm, <laughs> right on, right on. We, uh, and do you we have matched any... up pretty well. I'm sorry about that. Uh, do you have anything to say about uh, Vernon Wells, who played Lansing? Who was Vernon Wells too? was great. All of them were great. Everybody was great. I really enjoyed working with this cast. I wish we, we had a chance. We almost did a season two, and I wish we had had a chance to do that. Um, I think we would have had a lot more fun because you know it takes about the first season for everybody to get to know each other and get comfortable with each mm -hmm. other and miraculously we did that pretty quickly but a second season would have would have given us the opportunity to put a little more richness into the characters because right. our own interpersonal relationships off camera would have seeped into the characters and that's usually what happens and that's usually when shows any television show starts to get ripe and really good, usually around the second season. And I'm glad that you mentioned uh, you guys almost coming back for a second season. I recall you mentioning that in uh, at the original Power Morphicon in 2007. And I was curious to know, uh, do you know uh, why uh, you weren't brought back for a second season? They liked us, they wanted to bring us back, but a precedent had already been set. Uh, you know, they, we're talking, at the, at the point, at the time that we were shooting Power Rangers Time Force, it's 10 years into the production on the American side, and they had gotten used to the protocol, mm -hmm. or the procedure, or the MO, of uh, doing one season and then changing out the cast, aside from the first three years. Uh, so, I'm told they were a little gun-shy. They were a little afraid to take a chance. Right. Um, of course, whenever you're afraid to take a chance, you don't get to reap the benefit of the good things that are quite possible. So they missed out on a kick-ass season two of Power Rangers Time Force. I'm sure the bulk of the fandom would agree with that. Mm -hmm. What was it like? Uh, you returned for two episodes for the following season that came after Time Force, Wild Force. Uh, Wild Force. Wild Force is when you, where you get to see a hint of what a second season of Power Rangers Time Force could have been like mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the way the cast uh, related to one another, in term, you know, with uh, their character chemistry and interpersonal relationship. Uh, perhaps this is a little deeper than most people prefer to dive into character, but um, it does make a difference. Um, it's kind of perfect with my website, because we, we dig as deep as we can with those characters. That's great. So, so. We, we, all in, we were all having a lot more fun. I mean, I know Jason and I had a lot more fun um, on Wild Force. And uh, and that meant we were trying stuff, and we weren't afraid to to think outside the character sometimes and push the the bounds of what the character would or wouldn't do. And uh, I think I think that's when you get to see a little more personality. And those those are the kinds of things that people come up and uh, tell me were uh, long lasting memories. Uh, the things that we did on Wild Horse and Forever Red. Like I said, they missed out by not doing a season two of Power Rangers Time Force. They did. And you brought up uh, Jason. Uh, he played uh, Jason Fawn. Yes, he played Wes, and and he also played Alex in Power Rangers Time Force. Uh, I recall seeing. Yes, he's he this so guy. Red. I'm this guy. He's the weaker Red Ranger. <laughs> That's who Wes is. And I recall seeing Jason return for the. Uh, it was actually recent. It was in the season that aired last year for Power Rangers Super Mega Force. Uh, mm -hmm. were, did Saban ever approach you? To Absolutely. There? Absolutely. Um, I have a very good relationship with the director and with the executive producers, and I was absolutely uh, approached. Um, I enjoy working with them. They enjoy working with me. I've done a few films after Power Rangers Time Force finished with them. Uh, it was just a matter of timing. I happened to be working on, I believe it was Kicking It. Mm -hmm. And 
the time schedule they gave me was just in conflict with my work on kicking it, so I couldn't make it. And I, I'm a little bit bummed out about that because I would have loved to work with uh, Koichi again, you know, in the team. And I'm sure everybody would have loved to see you come back. Uh, so, to count, um, have you ever watched like any season of Power Rangers aside from your season? The first, the first, uh, the first uh, three seasons, yes, because that was when it was new and it was coming out and it was a show that I thought I might actually have a chance of cutting my teeth as an actor on, and so I, I, in the name of research, checked mm -hmm. it out and. Of course, I really understood it because it was very similar to the Japanese shows I remember watching as a kid growing up, um, like Ultraman, Spectre Man, Godzilla, mm -hmm. um, similar kinds of format. And I followed uh, Japanese anime uh, for a little bit, um, and so it was a show that was familiar to me and that I, I saw as something being right up my alley as a, a guy who was a martial art, had an extensive martial arts background and acrobatic background. Um, and was, wanting to get into acting for the first time. So. And uh, I, th I think we can all, I think we can both probably agree that you will say that Time Force is your favorite season since you were on it. But is there any season aside from Power Rangers that you love that you could call your favorite besides your own? Nah. That's, mm. That's a good way of putting it. Nah. Nah. You did mention that you watched a few Japanese shows. Have you ever watched any of the Super Sentai seasons that I only, the only Super Sentai I saw was the the stuff that related to the Quantum Ranger because mm -hmm. I knew that the what they do sometimes is they take and they loosely draw the season arc and the storyline or draw it out or write it out um, based on kind of what was going on in the Super Sentai season and then it, it will diverge quite drastically at some point uh, so I knew that the character was going to die and I knew a little bit of where the character was coming from and I needed all that information so I could figure out how to play the American version and of course it was nice to find out that in the American version he wasn't going to kick the bucket yes that was a very good change and I think Savon for making and that, that that was important to know because it was going to dictate what my character arc was going to be like and where and how I needed to express certain aspects of the character and what was your favorite part of playing the character of Eric? Being a badass. Yes, that is that is probably the one word that I would use to describe Eric. Like, there's a bunch of other words, but badass is probably the number one. So, was there anything you would have changed about the character? Not a thing. Did... Okay, so now that I've gotten these Power Ranger questions out of the way, uh, there was one question that my friend... There had. is There is something I would have changed about the character, actually. More screen time. Okay, that was, that is actually a very good change. I would recommend that if I were working on Time Force back in 2001. Or if we were going to do another one. That reminds me of, would you ever be interested in returning for a Power Ranger season as a regular character? Uh, that depends. It depends on what I'm working on, where I'm at. You know, when we did Power Rangers Time Force, that was a, not to bore you with some of the uh, business aspects of, of being a, an actor and a, and a filmmaker but when we did Time Force that was a union show and mm -hmm. we were all union actors and it's very difficult for us to come back now that the show has been taken back to a non its non-union status mm -hmm. it's difficult for us to get on a show once it's done that because right. because of the union uh, code that we follow and for very good reasons so that's just one aspect of something that would have to be reconciled before we could come back and actually work on the show. Okay, so with those questions for Power Rangers out of the way, uh, one thing that my friend Anthony was curious about, uh, he, he is a huge fan of your uh, Dev, uh, Devil Within video, the mm -hmm. one where you played Ryu. Uh, he was wondering uh, what it was like to play Ryu. It, those are very hard questions to answer, what it was like. Um, because you get into the character, and my first reaction is, it was like being Ryu. Uh, through the filter of what my interpretation of Ryu 
should be. Uh, and aside from allowing you to uh, an opportunity to experience what I was experiencing as the character in terms of watching it, <laughs> um, it's a very complex question to answer. Uh, there's just a lot. There's a lot that you do to bring a character to life. Uh, so, what it's to, to, to answer what it's like being a character is, you know, I guess you can make it simple and say it was cool, it was fun. You know, mm -hmm. I was a, I got to play a badass who was struggling with uh, some sort of affliction. Uh, so it was like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He was also curious, would you ever play Ryu again? And if you were, would you choose anybody to I would love to play Ryu again. Um, and it doesn't matter who they put in front of me. I'll fight them however I got to fight them. Which would probably be like the way Ryu would fight them. Uh, I, I like the character. I identify with the character. I used to play that character when I played the video game on Nintendo. Uh, we used to have all the friends come over. We'd all put down a quarter, just like you're putting a quarter into the arcade machine, mm -hmm. and your quarter would go against your buddy's quarter, and you'd play and you'd win that quarter. And so we would actually play for each other's quarters, and, and I thought that was pretty fun. And I played Ryu, and uh, I won a fair amount of quarters. Well, playing as Ryu, I guess that's kind of how it works then. So uh, you. I understand that I you're played Ryu because I identified with the character. It seemed like a half Asian character to me, and and I'm a half Asian. And, and uh, he wore a karate gi, and I used to wear a white karate gi, and he has <laughs> black hair, and I have black. No, <laughs> I just enjoyed the character. Go ahead. What's the next question? So what, uh, what, what is it that you're working on nowadays? Like I understand you're part of the uh, union. I understand if you can't like mention in. No, oh, you people, can always though. mention what you're working on. I mean, some things you can't. Uh, I just finished a, I just finished a film called Hunted. Mm -hmm. It's an action film. It's coming out when they finish the extensive CGI that needs to be done on it. It's going to be a really, really good film. So look, look for it. Hunted, um, coming soon. Uh, I'm also working on a video game. I cannot tell you the title of that video game. I start work uh, for the second session. They break them up into sessions. The first session was two weeks of work. And the second session is coming up. It'll be another two weeks of work. Uh, it's a really cool video game. That's all I can say about it. I'll be sure to check that out. Doing the motion capture on it. And some fight coordinating and perhaps some stunt coordinating as well. Just because I can. So you did, you, you did most of your stunts on Power Rangers, correct? Most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. And... How was it uh, being a stunt coordinator? Like, I know that you did some uh, stunt work with Jackie Chan at one point. Uh, uh, with his choreographer. With choreographer. I only worked with Jackie Chan once. I worked for his choreographer extensively as his assistant. And his choreographer, one of his choreographers, uh, whose name is Andy Cheng. He went on to direct and second unit direct some, some projects. And he goes back and forth between doing that. And now I've gone on in my own direction. But uh, being a stunt coordinator is not as easy as people think. You have to really be good at anticipating the things that can go wrong and what mm -hmm. the solutions to those are um, and uh, making sure that people are safe and that when producers and directors request crazy action that it can actually be executed or if it can't uh, because of for safety reasons that you can execute something that will make them just as happy. Nowadays with CGI, almost anything they ask for can be done. Right. The question is, can you make it look real or something? Because sometimes mm -hmm. CGI can look that, really bad. And right? that's up to the, the animation and the quality of the animation and, mm -hmm. and uh, tools and, and processing tools that you're using these days. So I think to finish this up, uh, I know this is sort of a personal, quite, quite sort of more of a personal thing, but I actually have a Power Rangers fan page out there that uh, they just, uh, one of these guys actually uses your name as his admin tag, got Eric Myers, that is, and he was, he just uh, would like for you to make a shout out to the page, so I hope that that's not too much to ask. What's the name of the page? It's called uh, Everything Power Rangers. Shout out to Everything Power Rangers. Booyah! <laughs> 
Thank you. So, everything Power Rangers, check it out. Pow, pow. So I think uh, that about wraps it up. I I really appreciate you giving me this interview. You're I'm, welcome. I am a huge fan of yours, and I just, I'm a huge fan of myself as well. Mm -hmm. And I, I also would like to say that it's been a very big honor for you, of all people, to be the first Power Ranger actor that I've ever met. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. The very first Power Ranger actor that I've met. Yes, sir. So, yes. Uh, for those of you who have not seen Power Rangers... It's a good Star thing. Force, it could have been this guy over here. Yeah. <laughs> So, for those of you who have not seen Power Rangers Time Force, do yourself a favor and get on Netflix and check that out. Check it out, man. It's cool, dude. And uh, this is Nathan DeSau from Anime Secrets. Uh, I once again thank Dan for this interview. See you later. Peace. Hey, you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. You can also check out Anime Secrets on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. Do you want more than that? I know you do. Then go to our website where you can see daily updates and articles and exclusive interviews.